So in this video, we are going to be breaking down the film of quarterback Drake May of North Carolina. This year is one of the top quarterback prospects in this year's draft. Some people have him as high as rated the number one quarterback in this draft. He's probably for sure going to be a top three pick. Let's go ahead and dive right into the film and see some of the pros and the cons of Drake May. So if you haven't watched a lot of Drake May's film, he does a really good job of extending plays with his legs, and he can make big plays with his feet. He's not the Caleb Williams explosive, like, playmaking type ability, but he is by far not a statue quarterback, and I think he does some really good job with his legs. But on this first play against North Carolina State, shows you that he can have some inaccuracies outside the pocket. Gets flushed out to the left, does a good job of turning his shoulders, but for some reason he just misses this throw and throws this one right into the dirt. We'll slow it down and show it from the end zone copy. So he takes this snap. He's going to get flushed out, rolls to the left, does a really good job of squaring up his shoulders to the target. That allows him to get a nice trajectory, but he continues to fade to the left, and this allows him to not have enough on this pass, and it just one dirts it. It's one of his worst throws that I've been able to see on tape. So on this next one here, they've got a nice spacing concept with the trips bunch into the boundary right here. Drake May does a good job of shuffling his feet and hitting the corner ball in stride, delivering this ball on time, shuffle within the pocket, put it out in front of his playmaker, and allows it to be a big-time catch. It's not late. It's not behind or anything like that. See his pocket movement here. Get the snap. Shuffle a little bit away from traffic. Put this ball out in space and out in front of the receiver. This next one's a good example of what his legs can do for him and his team. He tries to hit the slot receiver on a seam route right here, but the safety coming over top hard really gave him hesitation. He pulled the football down and just tried to get as much as he can. He's got some speed that can outrun some backers, and he picks up the first down on a broken down play. See right here, trying to work towards his slot. Little pump right there, he decides to hold it and now outrace the middle linebacker. You can see he's got type of speed that can break away from some defenders. Now it's not the type of speed that's gonna be able to constantly make him money breaking away from NFL linebackers, but it's enough speed that he's gonna be able to make some plays with his legs when things break down. This play right here against North Carolina State is another play showing an example of what he can do with his legs and very subtle movement and being able to make defenders miss. Going to take this snap off into the pocket. Pocket collapses. He just breaks, tucks it, goes for a run. Nice little subtle movement right there. Make that defender look silly. I don't know if this is more on what Drake May brings to the table or how bad that safety took an angle, but you'll be able to see and we'll slow it down a little bit here from the end zone copy. Takes the snap. Doesn't like what he sees. Step up in the pocket. Just tuck it and run. This safety is in a great position to be able to make a tackle on Drake May. He gives a nice little subtle movement. Allows him to make him look silly and continue to run. He is not a statue within this pocket. Some people have kind of compared him to a Josh Allen, just not as big and strong-armed. But don't let that be mistaken. He does have a strong arm, and I love this play right here against NC State. This is an example of him standing in a pocket, recognizing that a blitz is coming, but still being able to get this ball thrown at. They're going to send a blitz right here. From the nickel corner, he's going to stare down Drake May right through the eyes. He's going to try to hit a quick slant. He's got to stand in there in that pocket and deliver a football, and he does exactly that. From the end zone copy, you're going to be able to see it. Recognizes the blitz, but he's got to stand in there, take the shot. But that ball is accurately placed, and now they've moved the chains. It is important to see that aspect of the game because you're not going to be able to block everybody in the NFL. They're going to send blitzes. They're going to disguise it. And you've got to be able to recognize from the quarterback position being able to pick up the post-snap blitz, stand in there, deliver the football while taking some to the chin every now and then. That was great to see. He's done that multiple times throughout his career at North Carolina. While also taking that pressure and taking the hit as you throw, you're going to have to be able to throw off-balance throws in the NFL. This is a good example. 
gets pressure right to the face, throwing off that back foot plant, he's able to get it to his receiver. It's not the best position for a receiver to be in, but you're not going to be able to throw perfect balanced throws in the NFL. He gets pressure right to the face, throws off that back foot, but is still able to place that ball in between two defenders for his receiver to make a play. Real quick before we move on to this next one, guys, if you're liking the video, hit that subscribe button, join the team, join the community. We are grinding towards 10K subscribers, and we're getting closer and closer to that 9K mark. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free. Next right here, get a trip set to the right to the field, single receiver to the boundary. Great example of Drake May being able to step up in a pocket, throw a tight, tight window throw in between three to four defenders he feels the pressure coming from his boundary side right here if you noticed he checked to his boundary solo receiver didn't like it instantly sees the pressure works all the way back to the field side progression even though he's getting pressure still being able to step up within that pocket and throw a tight window throw up and over a defender in between two more a very accurate throw and like say very good job of him being able to work through his progression going from one side of the field to the next. Now we move on to a little bit of Clemson tape and the one thing that really stood out to me watching Drake May throw the football is he is a very accurate thrower of the deep ball. I believe he throws a better deep ball than Caleb Williams right here. The top receiver, the solo receiver on the top of your screen, just going to run a go route and he's going to place this ball off of one foot and out in front past the corner and in a spot where the safety cannot get there in time. Hold that safety for a half a second and place it where only his receiver can go get it. Hold that safety a half a second, just pivot, throw, perfectly placed out in front of the receiver, held the safety with his eyes for about a second and allowed him to not be able to make a play and it goes all the way down to the one yard line. It's impressive when you see Drake May being able to make off-balance throws. It's impressive when you see Drake May throw the deep ball. And it's very impressive when you see him do both. Right here against Clemson, trying to run a dagger concept, a dick off route at the top, dagger or back across from the left side of the field. He gets instant pressure, has to flush out this pocket, doesn't give up on the play, throws it down the field, and hit, still hits his dagger route in stride for a big touchdown against Clemson. See it from the end zone copy. Has to flush out just enough a little bit off to the right. Throws off his back foot. This, not, this ball is not thrown behind where the defender could have got back in phase. It's not floated and sailed over top where the safety could have got in a spot. It is thrown exactly where it needs to be. And you've got to be careful in the NFL. Windows are going to be tighter, but it still is an example of what he can do with that arm talent off of off-balance throws. A little bit later in the game, just another example of his big arm talent. They're going to smash concept to the field. Just going to run a quick stop route on the outside and a fade route from the slot. Quarterback Drake May, play action mesh off of one step, throw it down the field, places this ball just outside of the defender where it gives his receiver an opportunity to adjust to the football. You'll see it from the end zone copy. Play action fake. Don't take any sort of drop, step up, rip. And you simply cannot place this ball in any better position. Fades the receiver just a little bit to the outside away from the defender. It's a perfectly timed throw ball, and it's a perfectly placed ball. The receiver just flat out dropped it. Okay, so next in the Mayo Classic against South Carolina early in the year, right here, you know, he's a little bit late on this throw, but it is an example of his arm talent being able to throw the big boy out from the left hash all the way to the right sideline. You're going to get a, a hitch on the outside receiver on this trip set. And yes, he does throw it late right here, but because he knows he's late, he's got to rip this one out there. And he still, with the arm talent, allows himself to get the ball out there to where the defender cannot make a break on this football. He's going to be able to, he's going to need to recognize that quicker, but still a good example of his arm talent being able to get it out there. A little bit later in the game, they run that same smash concept that you saw against Clemson, and he's just going to be able to place this ball perfectly on the fade route from the slot. 
they basically just whipped their defender, and this was wide open from the get-go. But you still got to be able to make those wide-open throws, and he does not make this receiver slow down at all. It's placed perfectly out in front to where his receiver can go and chase it down. Like again, Once again, I think Drake May throws a prettier deep ball than Caleb Williams all day, every day. Example right here against Miami University at North Carolina. Drake May, this pocket collapses a little bit. Once again, tucks this football, makes a big play with his legs. Don't like anything, just tuck, make a defender miss. He can do those things, and he has done a good job of not absorbing unnecessary hits and sliding. Step up within this pocket, middle linebacker's got a beat. No, he doesn't. Makes a miss, get down, and it's a big play. Defenders in the NFL are just too good anymore to have just a traditional stand-in-the-pocket type of thrower. You've got to be elite with the football if you are a statue back there. So you've got to be able to have that playmaking ability when the play breaks down, that pocket collapses, being able to get out and get what you can. This next one right here, an example of his big arm strength. They're just going to run a post and an out concept. He's high-low reading that safety, trying to depict what he does. That safety does not backpedal enough, gets flat foot, and he throws this rocket right over top of the corner. Once again, corner is in a great position on this ball to be able to make a play on it, but instead... Because this ball is placed at the right timing and at the right position, corner has no chance. He tries to go for it, still ends up being a big play for the Tar Heels. I mean, look at it again. The corner's in a great position to undercut this football. If this ball comes out flat or late at any time, corner's going to be able to deflect it or possibly pick it off, but it's a perfectly thrown ball. On this right here, they're running a go in the slot to the right to the field with a dig underneath. You would like to see Drake May be able to anticipate this window a little bit quicker. He does throw this a little bit late, so he's going to have to improve on that at the NFL level, but still hits his receiver in stride to where he doesn't have to slow down at all and catch. It allows him to continue to go through his route, catch it on the run, and to pick up yards after the catch. Like I say, Drake May's got to anticipate that quicker, get it out sooner, but the accuracy of this football is spot on. We've had a lot of positive. Now here's one negative. Backed up on his own end zone right here. Feels pressured, gets rattled, and he just kind of throws this one up for grab and ends up just being a horrible throw, one of his worst throws that he's had in his career at North Carolina. Feel the pressure off back foot, just heave this one up, there, and it just sails over his, over his receiver's head for like 10 yards. The easiest interception this defender ever got. He cannot afford to have these panic-type moments in the NFL. Good news is, haven't seen a whole lot of this from his tape, but this was one of the worst. Overall, I think Drake May is a fantastic prospect coming up in this year's NFL draft. And if I'm being honest, I haven't dove into Jay, uh, to Daniels yet at LSU. He's next on my list. But when it comes down to Caleb Williams and Drake May, I'm picking Drake May all day, every day, and we're going to see how those two careers end up. But it's my honest opinion. I think Drake May should go with a number one overall pick over Caleb Williams. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section below. As always, hit that subscribe button. Stay humble, stay kind. Peace.